Hi everyone, welcome back to Pop Out Leather. This is another DIY video kit, and today we're making a belt. In your kit, you're gonna get a premium Horween leather belt blank, pre-sky, an awesome belt buckle, some thread, two needles, some Chicago screws, as well as a keeper. First and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to download this, the Pop Out Leather DIY belt kit. Template thing. With some scissors, not provided of course, let's cut it out. Once this is done, we're gonna measure our belt. There are a few different ways to get your belt length. Generally, you can take some pants, take the pant size and add two inches, or in my case, I'm gonna measure my belt. I'm measuring my belt from an old blank, from this tip all the way to my most used hole, which happens to be this one right here. You can check out the chart online as well for measuring from pant size. Here we are. Take your measuring tape from this edge where the buckle folds over all the way to the most used one, which is here. I have a 35 and a half. Take your belt blank, fold it over like this. This is where we're measuring from. Drape your belt, go into the halfway point right here as the belt is folded over. Perfect. Now we're measuring. There, we set 35 and a half. We're gonna make a nice blunt marking with a blunt tool. We'll use the end of this. Just because we're gonna do a test measure to make sure we're not gonna improperly cut it. So let's do a little test here. My hole is here. So that's gonna be our center hole. That's perfect. Let's fold it over. I'm sold. Awesome. Taking your template, yeah. we're going to line up the center hole with your marking as such. That's great. You can take this tool if you've upgraded your kit to make a marking on the end. We're not pushing through, we're just making a little mark as such. That's the end of our belt. We want to make sure it's nice and even. By pushing lightly, you can adjust if you have to, to make a new line. That looks great. I'm sold on that. Now we don't want this to move. We're gonna punch through here on a poly board. You can use another hard surface if you need to, but for this case, poly board is almost best. There we go. So we're gonna make a, a marking here. We're just gonna, on top, push through and you'll see a little Marking, that's perfect. Without letting the template move, push all the way along the road here. Nice and centered. And then we'll do our punching thereafter. Let's see how it turned out. Boom! Awesome. Okay. Let's start on the end here. Make sure your mall is nice and fit. That's nice. Beauty. Next. Good stuff. That's great. Last one. Awesome. See that? Beauty. Now we have our edge marking, which is great. We're gonna do a test cut just in case just so you can get a feel for how it's gonna go through. That looks good, nice and even on both sides. Let's do our real cut now. Line them up on your marking. Awesome. A little bit of a thread here. Perfect. That looks great, take a look. Our holes are there, our edge is done nice. Clean cut. That's awesome. So at this point, we've had our, our belt is nice and cut, looks great. And if you choose to online, you can get our advanced burnishing kit to step it up just that much more. In the kit comes with the sweet beveler, this hand burnishing tool, and of course, pop up leather leather bomb. So as a test piece here, we're gonna use our beveler because this is incredibly sharp. I'm just gonna do a nice test strip just to get a feel for it. See that coming out like spaghetti? That's great. So. 
starting with our keeper, this piece here, we're going to carefully do the edge without scoring it at all. Beauty. Let's flip the back so it's nice and beveled. At this point, you're a pro. Let's move to the belt. And we're not going to do the very tip. Here at Pop All Leather, we don't bevel the tip, so for this example, we aren't either, but it's up to you to do as you choose. And notice how my left hand is, is crawling along, keeping the leather flat and even. And you want it all to come off in one beautiful piece. That's looking good. And we're stopping right there. That's good. Next. Beautiful. This looks great. So notice the edge of the, the belt is already taking shape compared to something that's flat. Let's do the back side. And then we'll move into finishing the edge with our leather ball and our nifty tool. There we go. Beauty. Perfect. Last but not least. Awesome. And the beauty with getting these tools is the next time you order a belt blank for a gift for a friend or a family member, you already have the tools to make it that much nicer. Look at that. That's the best case scenario. Well punched, well cut at the end, beveled, and that's our keeper. We're going to take our pop off leather bomb, which we use on so many things here. I'm sure some of you have it at home and you treat your products with it. And we're going to get this nice and juicy. Likewise on the other side. And with this tool here that you can upgrade, you're going to find the perfect notch. This notch too big, this might be perfect here. You want it to fit nice and even. And we're just going to give a nice back and forth friction. And the goal is to make it nice and smooth. I'll show you a before and after and how it makes it that much nicer. I always keep the judge with my hand here. You can take a look at the difference in the color. Finished, and not, not quite there yet. So we'll finish this one with some of this balm. And we're gonna just do all the way down the belt. Don't be shy here. If you're making a gift for a friend, try to try to borrow their belt to do a to do a copycat. There we go. Oh, looks good. You can tell the color change. It's nice and smooth. I'm just going to even it out with my head. And grab our little tool. Beauty. This is looking pro. Likewise for this side. I'm starting at the and great nice I'm pretty excited by that look at that it's a good looking belt Let's clean up a little bit here if you'd like if you don't have already, on the pop up Leather website, we have a stamp kit. You can personalize your belt if you'd like. Order the kit and simple. Comes with different letters and numbers. My name's Ryan, so I'm doing an R. I'll do a little test impression first. Get it centered, great. Take my little poly board again. And now you can line it up with your test impression. Don't punch too hard, a little tap. 
Got an R on there. People know it's mine. Beauty. That's great. Now, we'll leave this to the side. Looks good. And we'll move on to our keeper. Our keeper is going to go right here. It's going to be folded over and stitched together. So, like our other videos, I'll show you how to thread your needle appropriately. Thread the eye. Loop it back and puncture the remaining bit like this. You'll have a little letter D or B, depending on what you're looking at. Pull it tense and tight. There you go. Likewise for the other side. And then nice and tight. Now, with our keeper, we're going to fold it over as such. I'm going to come in from behind, keeping the tension on both sides by giving it a squeeze so they're overlapped. I'm going to loop around and back through. There we go. I'm going to do the other side opposite as such. This guy goes through and back around through the front. Once you have both sides, you'll give it a nice pull. You'll make it tight. And you want to make sure that this string that you floss through goes over both edges. Give it a tighten. Give it a tightening. And we're gonna do that one more time here. Then we're gonna put it through the back side, tie a nice double knot, and melt it shut. And that'll last you. Likewise, here we go. Beauty. That looks good. I'm just going to loop around these threads and back through. That tension is stored in there now through that. And I'm just going to tie a nice simple double knot. Beauty. Everyone knows how to do this. There's a one knot. Nice and tight. And a two knot. Similar, nice and tight. That's held in there. That's not going anywhere, perfect. Take your scissors, we're gonna cut, but don't cut too close. So I'm just cut these off for now. Notice I have about an inch here. I'm gonna come down to maybe like an eighth of an inch, a few millimeters, enough so when I melt the threads, they'll form a little bead and I can smush them together. And you wanna kinda of melt them together here. Beauty, and squish them. That knot's been melted shut. It's nice and strong. We can floss this onto the end of our belt. Beauty, look at that. Looks great. Now before we move much further, our Chicago screws have two different components, the outside and the inside. The outside is a, little, a, a bit wider than these holes that we've punched thus far. So we're just gonna give them a little, little zhuzh. Making sure they're centered. I'm gonna take my keeper off, actually. This is the exact same width as this here. I'm just gonna give it a nice punch. Perfect. That's good. Nice and tight. One more. Beauty. Now this is simple. Take this, the one without the screw head on it, goes back here. One, and two, perfect. Your belt buckle goes in one way. You don't want it to be backwards. Just flap as such like that. This back piece gets folded over and your Chicago screw here, go through the hole and thread it inside. And then I'm just gonna put the keeper in after I screw this guy in. Where's my screwdriver? There we go. And you're gonna to wanna to push on the back side of this Chicago screw so that it doesn't spin too much. If it starts spinning, it won't be as tight as you need it to be. So you'll feel it spin, push it a bit more, and that's good. Awesome, grab our keeper. I'm gonna slide it in and on there. Perfect. That looks good. Your thread's on the inside, you're not gonna see that. This gets folded over. Chicago screw goes into the back side.
and easy peasy, we've made ourselves a professional belt with premium leather, made by hand, finished by hand. Fantastic. Beauty. Nice. Classy. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this video, press like and subscribe and follow us on Pop Up Other. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ryan.